Now it's time for national news where we go through some of the stories making news across this country. From BTV, China's high-speed railway line linking Beijing and Shanghai has reached over 100 million passenger trips since its operation a year and a half ago started, railway authorities announced Thursday. Built with an investment of 217 billion yuan or 35 billion U.S., the 819-mile railway linking Beijing to Shanghai has shortened the travel time between the two cities to about five hours from the previous eight hours or more. China has been steadily expanding its rail network as trains are the most commonly used vehicles for a country's long-distance travelers here. In December last year, the high-speed line linking Beijing and Guangzhou, the world's longest, went into official service, bringing China's total high-speed railway network in operation to a length of more than 9,300 kilometers. The Beijing-Guangzhou line is one of four north-south lines that are expected to serve as backbones for the country's high-speed railway network, which also features four east-west lines. China's rail construction boom took a hit in 2011 following a deadly train collision near the eastern city of Wenzhou. That accident resulted in 40 deaths and 172 people being injured. Investment in construction gradually picked up last year as the country set the aim of having around 120,000 kilometers of railway lines in operation by 2015, including 18,000 kilometers of high-speed lines. Wow. Beijing to Shanghai in five hours, that's 800 miles. Let's see, that's like going from New York City to Atlanta in only five hours. Good stuff. 